I'm super excited today to show you some things that you can do with your succulents when they don't need to be watered. I still highly recommend checking on your succulents every day or at least every couple days just to make sure that nothing is going wrong. And it'll also help you notice differences in your succulents and be able to catch problems sooner. One of the things that you wanna look for just when either you're watering your succulents or on days when you're not watering is for dried up lower leaves. And it's a great idea to just remove those leaves and keep your succulent a little bit more cleaned up and looking nice. So sometimes I do this on days when I'm watering, but I usually save it for days when I'm not because I wanna feel like I'm doing something, right? Even if they don't need water. So as you can see, I have not done this for a few days. Um, some of these leaves come off really quickly or easily. Others, um, if they don't come off really easily by themselves, I usually just leave them there. Um, but then the leaves that are like on top of the soil, I'll go ahead and pull those off too. Um, if you can't reach them, I usually will use tweezers. So the other thing that I recommend doing, which I did just here, here just now, is um, I recommend turning your succulents. Now this is gonna be especially helpful if you're growing succulents on a windowsill indoors because there's more light on one side of the window than the other. So uh, a little bit ago, I did a video showing the difference um, between this Sedum News Bamerianium and this one. Um, and the difference is just the amount of light that it's getting. So if you rotate your succulents, you can see this one's leaning a little bit. So um, it hasn't been getting as much light. So go ahead and rotate your succulents. And the other thing that that does is it gives you a different perspective of your succulent so that you can see what's going on. Um, if you're wondering, these were my can I save it plants? And uh, clearly the answer is no, I can't because most of these were like super underwatered and I don't water my plants very often. So um, yeah, those did not survive. They need to be cleaned out. But just, you know, looking for little things like here, I can see that this guy could use a little bit more water right now. I know I haven't watered it for about two weeks. So with that one, I would say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and water it, which most of these are at that point. But um, the other thing you can do is just talk to them, right? Like you can, I know a lot of people will like sing songs or um, just tell them how good they're looking because it actually makes a difference. And if you don't believe me, um, go do some research on how kind words can change um, water. So they've done a bunch of experiments with like water and rice where they have them in a room and people say mean things and then a different one, people say nice things and it is really interesting to see the difference. So go ahead and tell your succulents how awesome they're doing and um, yeah, tell them they're looking good. And then you also wanna just keep your eye out for any signs of bugs or anything that's going wrong, right? Like so on this one I could see that it needed to be watered um, maybe you're noticing some yellowing on the lower leaves of your succulents and depending on you know how old the succulent is that may be kind of normal but um, on some succulents that might be a sign that you're watering too much or the water isn't draining fast enough so that is just a really um, a great thing to just look and keep an eye on your succulents and see how they are doing and also cleaning up all the dead leaves to make sure that they are going to stay nice and healthy. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to go look at your succulents today and see if they maybe need a little bit of water or maybe they need to be watered less. Take a look to see if there's any dead leaves and if nothing else, just tell them how awesome they're doing and how beautiful they look. If you want more tips for how to grow succulents and keep them alive and healthy, I'd love to invite you to join the Succulent Lovers Club. You can get all the details for it at succulentsandsunshine.com club. We'll talk to you later.